listening to the Becoming Who You Are podcast, your guide to authentic living. Visit becomingwhoyouare.net for more resources, tools, and suggestions designed to help you create the life you want from the inside out. Now here's your host, Hannah. Hello, and welcome to this week's episode of the Becoming Who You Are podcast. My name is Hannah, and thank you so much for joining me today. This week, I want to talk about a powerful question that has helped me break through some seriously stuck patterns. I first really used this question last year when I was working through some money issues, and it's especially helpful for behaviors and patterns where we feel like we're going round and round in circles. When we start noticing more about ourselves and strengthening that authentic voice inside us, we start to become aware of a special type of pattern. These patterns don't follow the typical formula of awareness of pattern plus understanding of patterns genesis equals ability to move past pattern. With these patterns, the formula goes more like awareness of pattern plus understanding of pattern equals pattern carries on regardless. One of my big patterns that falls into this category is money. In the second half of last year, I reached a point of intense frustration. I knew about some of my underlying beliefs that affected my comfort levels around earning money and having money. I was more than aware of how this was affecting me, yet that final part of the formula wasn't fitting into place. The issue still felt hazy. As soon as I felt like I had a grasp of it, it fell away again. As part of my process, I worked through a wonderful book called Overcoming Underearning by Barbara Stani, which I highly recommend, and you can find this book in the resources section of Becoming Who You Are. At one point, she asked the question that changed the way I thought about my relationship with money and is still changing it. That question is, what's the payoff? What is my payoff for underearning? What are the hidden benefits for me? And that made me think, even when we identify the pattern and we understand the pattern's genesis, we can miss out a crucial part of this pattern, which is those hidden benefits that we get, the payoff that we get from remaining stuck in that place. Going beyond what's comfortable and familiar requires that we step into a place that is uncomfortable and unfamiliar. It requires us to sit with that discomfort with no guarantee or indication that it's going to let up in the future. So if you're struggling with a pattern, if the awareness and understanding are there, yet the issue still seems ungraspable, turn it around and take a look at the positives. Ask yourself, what's the payoff? What benefits am I getting from being in this pattern? What's the payoff for procrastinating? What's the payoff for overeating? What's the payoff for this addiction that I'm struggling with? What's the payoff for this resistance? What's the payoff for this inaction? What benefits do I get from this pattern? The answer to this question could give you a new awareness about yourself and your history you wouldn't have otherwise had, and it could be the final piece in the puzzle that helps you make the shifts you want to make in that particular area. I would love to hear your thoughts about this, so please feel free to email me at hannah, that's H-A-N-N-A-H, at becomingwhoyouare.net, or head over to www.becomingwhoyouare.net and leave a comment on this episode's blog post. Thanks so much for listening to today's episode. I hope you found it helpful and I look forward to talking to you again very soon. Thanks for listening to this episode of the Becoming Who You Are podcast. If you enjoyed the show, please head over to iTunes and leave a review. You can get in touch with Hannah by emailing H-A-N-N-A-H at becomingwhoyouare.net. Don't forget to visit becomingwhoyouare.net and find out how you can use rational personal development to live an authentic life.